So, now we will discuss relation between torque and moment of inertia. Suppose, a body have a rigid body is here which is rotating about this axis z, about this axis having ang angular acceleration alpha. This body is supposed to be made of large number of particles like m 1, m 2, m 3, m 4, there are m n, this is r 1, r 2, r 3. So, there are large number of particles m 1, m 2 and m n, their distances from the axis of rotation r 2 and that is r n. Every particle has linear acceleration a 1, a 2, that is a n. Alpha is here angular acceleration which remains constant. So, now see here every particle has some force or the force is acting on every particle that is suppose f 1 is equal to m 1 a 1 that can be written m 1 and this is r 1 alpha because we know it a is equal to r alpha linear acceleration is equal to r into angular acceleration. So, this is force on, uh, on particle 1. So, here the force on particle 1. So, similarly we can find out torque on particle 1. So, torque is equal to will be here now in that case m 1 r 1 alpha into r 1 that is m 1 r 1 square alpha. So, total torque you can write down torque is equal to here in this case alpha i is equal to 1 to n m i r i square, where i is equal to 1 to n. So, this for this was for the one particle and this is the total torque sum of the torque acting all, all the particles and here which can be written i. So, torque is equal to alpha into i. So, this is the relation between torque and moment of inertia. So, now we can discuss here the relation between angular momentum and moment of inertia. Again consider a body, rigid body which is rotating about this axis with angular velocity omega. Suppose the body is like this here, it is supposed to made of the large number of particles m 1, m 2 and m 3, r 1, r 2 and this is r 3 there are n number of particles. So, you can write like m 1, m 2, this is m n, r 1, r 2 and that is r n. Now, we can write here in this case every particle has linear velocity v. So, you can write the linear momentum of each of the particles. So, each of the particle suppose you take the first particle you can write p is equal p 1 is equal to m 1 v 1 we can write p 1 is equal to m 1 r 1 omega. If you write angular momentum l is equal to l 1 is equal to here m 1 r 1 omega into r 1. So, you will be getting m 1 r 1 square omega. So, total angular momentum of the body you can write l is equal to omega is here the constant angular velocity i is equal to 1 to n you can write m i r i square and that can be written here l is equal to omega i. So, this is here the moment or sorry angular momentum and moment of inertia. So, l is equal to we can write i omega.